It may have taken several hours, a whole lot of fuel stops, and many laughs at Freddy's expense, but we finally made it to what some say is America's greatest road. Tale of the Dragon. Look at that. These waterfalls are pretty, but it also makes me want to do the same thing with my, my pee pee. <laughs> There's porta potties back down at the bottom. Freddy, how's that Corvette? The Corvette's fine. It's just a little bit hurt right now. Its leg is broken, but a part has been acquired. It's on its way. It's gonna take a little longer than I thought, but it's fine. I'd probably be enjoying it a lot more than this Tesla. If we were to survey 15-year-old American boys, which car do you think is more famous, a Tesla Model 3 or a Corvette Z06? I asked my nine-year-old daughter what her dream car is, and she said a Tesla. That is what she said. And she came from my loins. Did you then tell her that she's adopted? Tyler. I got a little loose there. I'm not gonna lie. Did Tyler die? No. Very nearly. Yes, I think over the course of this week I found the limit of this Viper when it comes to its handling and it had gone well beyond it in a safe place, so that's helped me here so I don't go beyond it. It's a very razor thin margin between grip and depth though. All right, Freddie, that thing would obviously take a turn or two, but what are you hearing right now? Is it just... Just nothing? The sound of your own farts? The only thing I'm hearing is like a very slight drill whine and then uh, nothing but speed. This car has really good acceleration. Like, <laughs> I'm keeping up with a Viper and a Bentley Continental Super Sports on this very twisty road, it has a really low center of gravity. So this thing actually handles fairly well. And I think it's fairly good looking. For 35 to 40 grand for what you'd pay for one of these, you'd be hard pressed to find a better experience. And I don't want to say it, but I think I have to because otherwise I'd be lying to myself and lying to you. I like this thing a lot. <laughs> this thing is awesome. Now we're shooting this in March and it will release in July. And right now gas is $5 a gallon in the Southeast for premium. How much do you think gasoline will cost in July? I mean, the sky's the limit really. Uh, and I think that the more we go on, you know, this, uh, this crazy economic turn we've had, I, I think it's just gonna get more expensive. So what's your guess? We'll see who's closest. I feel like 650 is a good number. I don't think the average will go over six. I think they'll figure out some stuff like uh, getting it from other places that they weren't getting it from before and easing things up and then maybe there'll be some uh, people turning against the big oil companies who are probably capitalizing on the situation right now. So what's your dollars guess? I'd say not over six. Let's do 5.95 average. I do like the optimism there, but honestly, I think I'm, I think your logic is correct, and I'm more optimistic. I'm going to say we're back at 4.50. I think cars like this are going to start to make a lot more sense in the coming years. Well, this car makes a lot of sense right here, right now. What a road. It's very clear that our days of loving the consumption of gasoline are to an extent numbered, but the days of cars like this aren't. I mean, look at this one. It's made it almost 180,000 miles and it is still going very, very strong. It is nimble, it is fast. It brakes as strongly as I could ask it to. And right here, right now, I wouldn't be having any more fun in either of those cars. 
But the good news is there are still a ton of cars that we haven't been able to go on adventures in. And I have to say that as somebody who loves cars and loves driving, the chance to buy a car like this, go on adventures like this with friends like those, there's nothing better. And so I can't wait for the next challenge that Auto Tempest gives us, what cars I need to go shopping for and what destinations we're going to find. People love to joke about the Viper being so deadly, but here I am on the tail of the dragon, right on Ed's tail with his all-wheel drive and traction control. No problem at all. I mean, as long as you don't drive like a complete idiot, really, this car is not that bad. This just feels a lot more special than, say, a Trans Am or a Corvette. And yet, it feels vintage and cool as well, which the Bentley, well, as much as I've coveted having a Bentley like that before, uh, you know, it's just very, very modern, and that's something that's not gonna age well. Still, I'd love to have a go in that thing. So one thing that's actually surprising is that uh, we've been driving on this road for quite a bit, and I've only gone down 2%. And you're able to tell by looking away from the road and down at your big old iPad in the middle that's not in the right place to see and drive responsibly. So the Viper owner is going to tell me about correct placement of things in his car? My gauges are clearly in my peripheral vision looking straight ahead. Ugh. Woo! I'm alive! <laughs> How about that? I lived. Not much traffic today. That was wonderful. Guys, that was that was amazing. So I was a little bit skeptical of our electric future, but this thing is awesome. And I have an idea because uh, I think we need to switch cars. Uh, you, you, one of you has to I'm experience good. this. I'm good. I, like I already my was Bentley. on the track with it, and uh, I was coveting your Bentley. Yeah. I've so I would like much. a spin, if you wouldn't mind. I've never driven a Viper, I'll not one that hasn't no, been in a million I'll drive pieces. The Viper. I'll drive the Viper. No, I'll drive the Viper. Hey, you've got the Tesla. No, you need to be convinced of the future. I'm not going to be. I don't want yeah, it. Yes, yes, you are. Okay. He sounds a little bit like a Jehovah Witness or a Scientologist at your door, doesn't he? I'm but resolved. I like the idea. You, Here, okay, okay. you can have the Viper. Okay. Yeah. I'll do the Bentley. Just for a little bit. I want my Bentley back. So the keys are inside it. Uh, it's like a car. Do you have a, a Tesla account? No. Uh, oh. What? What? How does it work? Whee! Oh my goodness. I have a golf cart at home. It drives like this. How about that? Whoa, you don't even have to brake. It just takes it all back. Oh, yes, it sees the car. Yes. Do I, do I have to tell it to not care? Or is it all right? Man, I feel old driving this thing. I won't hit him. You won't even let me. You're decelerating too fast. Weird. There is a robot that lives inside of my house. And with a mind of its own, it vacuums my floors. Now, I look at vacuuming as a chore. So I like this robot. I enjoy driving. I don't think of it as a chore. But whoever built this car with all this stuff, they do think of it as a chore. And that's why I don't like that person. And that's why I don't like this car. I mean, I look at my Bentley and whoever built that thing loves to drive. They made it great. Whoever loves that Viper loves driving even more than they like living, which I can relate to most days. But not the team behind this car. It, that has nothing to do with driving, certainly not enjoying driving. It's designed to get it over with and get you to wherever it was that you wanted to go or probably didn't want to go, but you'll be there and your car will be out back charging or whatever it does. Ugh. Imagine like dreaming of this as a car. I mean, wee, it's fast. Okay, well, I'm, I've experienced it. I, I don't need to anymore. The Bentley though, I mean, you could know that you'd made it when you had that car. I mean, until you unmade it because of the repair bills, but I haven't had to pay any repair bills yet. But man, my Bentley looks awesome from here. You get to compliment yourself when you're not in the car. And I picked the color out. I'm so smart. Edge gummy bears continue to be delicious. Mmm. Mmm, some more. I'm definitely more relaxed than I was in the Viper. I mean, this is really nothing to it. Mmm. 
Hmm. Oil pressure, stop engine. It's probably fine. Maybe I should ask him, but I'm, I'm not gonna ask him. Well, the first thing that's striking me is these Veyron seats are rock hard. They are like race car seats, which you don't want that in a Bentley. I mean, you want it to be comfortable at 200 miles per hour and feel like you're not even doing anything. But otherwise, I know exactly where my tire pressures are. I have my automatic climate control set. I even have a Breitling little watch in the dashboard to tell me what time it is. So I definitely get why you would want to own one of these. I mean, I own a 2001 Bentley Azure convertible version of the generation before this car and Volkswagen had acquired the company. Uh, but does it represent the gas guzzler best? And well, honestly, I don't think so because of the maintenance. Even though this car is worth more than my Viper, according to John Vaccara, I wouldn't trade it. That Viper will be the gas guzzler that people look back upon fondly and be like, wow, I can't believe cars were like this all those years ago. Versus this, it'll be like, wow, I can't believe these cars were such huge pieces of junk before we went all electric. Nope. Nope. I want old Red back. Okay, I'm gonna take up the face a little bit. And that's what every Viper driver says before they crash. So what's interesting about this car is that the accelerator pedal has a picture of a snake on it. So that's what you want to press when you want to get bitten. Let's see what it does. Oh, okay. All right. It's a little all over the place. Yeah, Tyler could have splurged on some new tires. All right, I kind of see what Tyler's talking about. It does sound not horrible when you get on it a little bit. Now I know I'm taking this at maybe one tenth of what this car is capable of, but on this road and on these tires, I figure I don't want to ruin Tyler's car and I don't want to ruin my weekend by crashing this into a tree. Oh! <laughs> All right, yeah, that's, it just kicked out the back end a little bit. Why would they make a car with no crash control, an 8.3 liter V10, and super wide tires? It's just a recipe for death. Okay. It steps out under braking, it steps out under acceleration. Just feels like the ground's covered in grease, and I don't think it's the ground's fault. I think the electric car future may be a little brighter than I thought. Whoa, Ed, the steering just went hard and then soft and whoa. Yeah, it does that sometimes. Ed, do you think that Bentley was traded in because of this oil pressure warning thing that comes and goes a lot? I don't assume that some guy dumped it to CarMax after 177,000 miles of blissful ownership for no good reason whatsoever. No, no, we can only hope that he just died in his whoever inherited it just didn't care. I like that that's your best case scenario. We can't hope. How are you liking the Viper? This thing feels like it's a mile long, but it, it actually feels fairly special in here. Fairly special. It's way more special than your Corvette. Well, at least you won't complain about the transmission shifting too slow. No, I think the transmission is very, very similar to the one in my Z06. And it's about the same amount of torque. It's just uh, super, super torquey down low. So you can just leave it in a gear and just forget about it. So how's life in Tesla land? It's very sterile. I, I don't like it. So if that were, say, a Taycan, would you be enjoying yourself a little bit more, or is that the same problem? I would assume it drives exactly the same. I have not driven a Taycan, but I've driven other little electric cars, Leafs and whatever else. You know, I, I don't like any of them. It's not what I love about cars. I think the same thing, but I think this Viper might be a little too far in one direction. I mean, I think you have to give up quite a bit and the ability for this thing to spin you off into a tree is just, I mean, it's really, really good at that. So I think there has to be a happy medium and that happy medium is not here right now. 
I think the people outside the car are having a better time than the people inside the car just because they get to see it. But one thing is, it doesn't sound all that good. Like, a V10 is supposed to sound a little bit more snarly and a little bit more exotic, and it just doesn't. It sounds great. It's very distinctive. What are you talking about? It's a subjective thing. Don't get your panties in a twist. I think a V10 from a Lamborghini or even an Audi sounds a little bit better than this. That car whizzes by you. You know it is a Viper. You know it's growly and mean. It's, it's perfect versus your Corvette sounds like every other LS engine. It all sounds the same. Oh yeah, I'm not saying the LS sounds like, a, like an exotic car. It sounds like it sounds. But this does sound a bit agricultural. Is that fair to say? Yeah, and then all of your cars just sound like pop, 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 pop. Japanese crap too. That's a uh, hard disagree there, buddy. But Bentley is a very happy medium. I mean, I could enjoy it maybe more with a manual transmission and if it was a little bit lighter, but man, it does everything really, really well. Yeah, but the second you have to repair it, I mean, everything's an engine out. The starter's an engine out. If you have vacuum lines that need replacing, I mean, I know that you didn't have to do it in the super sports, but it's, it's still a lot of money if something goes wrong. Yeah, but each of those things will have gone wrong two or three times since then, and so it'll all be the more updated version of whatever failing part that could be. I think I'm foolproof at this point. Freddy's Corvette sounded a lot like my TVR when it was exploding. There's a lot of heat coming out of your engine bay, Ed. Yeah, it's getting a little hot. Maybe I'll give it a breather. It's just sweat of the horsepower. <laughs> Bang! <laughs> It was finally time for me to get out of this futuristic torture device and to see which of us, probably me, had brought the most appropriate, most fun-loving, most gas-guzzling car for this amazing adventure. How did you like it? I'm very excited to get back in my Bentley. It's nice to see what the future holds, but it makes me even more happy to live in the past. Your Bentley was better than I expected, Ed. Yes! It has all the lights you would expect with a Bentley, and then that steering wheel thing is uh, very strange. <laughs> but a very nice, comfortable car, other than the seats. I, I don't get it, honestly. Yeah, the seats are a little weird Rock in the car. Rock yeah. hard. Yeah. Just, you buy a Ferrari or some sports car to have that experience. You don't buy a Bentley to have an uncomfortable seat. I know, but I can sit up straight in them, so that's nice. What'd you think of the Viper? So the Viper, all right, just keep your hands in there, okay? Well, you're not, we're not gonna, okay. 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 So right. you, you don't have any stabbing implements, no, no, right? No, 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 okay. no, okay. Hit me. Um, it was okay. I love looking at it, man. Like, it's a really, really amazing looking car. It sounds better when it's sort of on throttle and on cam. But I don't know, I, I don't know, man. Like, you just give up so much with that car. It feels like you're driving a school bus, and I get why people want to drive that, but I also get why people want to sell that, like, 100%. The fact that it still offers that old school driving experience, kind of like a muscle car, and it's so new and reliable in that sense, that's the big draw of the Dodge Viper, and so exotic looking. Exactly, and it is the perfect celebration of gluttonous gas guzzling. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, I, would, I would agree with that. There's no more iconic gas guzzler than a red Dodge Viper. So he won the Instagram challenge with his slide or spin that looked like a slide momentarily. Right. Control yourself. Control yourself. He just won the appraisals with Mr. Vaccara in an unorthodox fashion. I won yeah. Yeah. the race at the big track. Coming around very fast, which uh -huh. was a whole lot of fun. And I outrun the Tesla on the track. I've lost power. Freddy, you're our only hope. Well, I'm gonna do my victory lap. You guys can push your cars back into the pits, all right? That was our own main challenge to like beat a Tesla. It's still a challenge. It was an assignment. It, it really just proved that you've lost with the, by bringing the wrong car. It was a race. But you did win the Zoolander really? thing. Yes, Yes, absolutely. Yes. It's feeling so good right now. So one, one, fun. two. That was fun. Okay, yes. Yeah. He does. Oh, 
That's wonderful. I, okay, I'm not. I'm not angry. I'm not oh, angry because a red you Dodge Viper. Angry. I look very angry. You look angry. Um, no, no, I'm actually okay. A red Dodge Viper to a gas guzzling challenge. There could be no other option. I, I mean, it's. It's, it's, it's perfect, Tyler. Yes. How about we, that? And I used the most gas. I think I got less than 12 miles per gallon, so I guzzled like over 50 gallons on this trip. High five. Yeah, I'd say that. <laughs> I was just shy of 13, so yes, you beat me there. We guzzled. But how much gas did you use? 21 miles per gallon. 21 miles a gallon. Pretty. That's as good as you can do at drinking the most gasoline. Listen, okay. It's not my fault that Chevrolet made an efficient car. It's a seven liter. Okay, I get it. Tyler I get wins. it. I, okay, fine. Tyler wins. Tyler wins. Exactly. Good. But I'm still happy with my Bentley. I'm still happy with my Corvette. I mean, I'm going to go fix it and it's going to be the best Corvette Worse. ever. You can go fix it. I'm going to claim my prize because Tyler wins. Early in the car tricks, we didn't have a prize. And then recently, you've gotten to race a fighter jet mm -hmm. and take the next challenge. Oh, 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 it's a plane and go, go, go! We beat the jets! You've gotten to drive your dream car million dollar XJ220 mm -hmm. like 30 feet. This is the Jaguar XJ220. One of the most iconic cars ever made. I did something. Well, I'll check. I, I, it hasn't vibrated. I don't have Somewhere in the mountain there is telling you what I get. I win. No notification. Yeah, there's nothing there. Not a single one. No, no, yeah. okay. no text. Check again. No, there, there really isn't anything. Nothing. Just a pat on the back, and uh, that's that's it. We have to record a series uh, intro or something, right? Like, you just. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, Where so. we plug Auto Tempest, who is screwing me again. No. Maybe we won't no, say no. it that way. We, yeah, we probably shouldn't say that about our sponsor. <sighs> well, I mean. All right, you get in the I middle. You get, you get in the middle. Okay, I can pick a challenge. Yeah, uh -huh, they, sure. they didn't tell you to. They gotta pick the challenge. A gift card to Target would be fine. I don't think it's. It's just. It didn't happen. I'm sorry. All right. All right. So we'll do this. This camera. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. This time on Car Trek, Auto Tempest has challenged us to find the best gas guzzling cars we can for the price of a Tesla Model the Three. Best place of course, to search for a used car online is Auto Tempest. I use it hold every on. single hold, day. Hold on, it is linked below. Oh. And it, they are it just dinged. It's nice. Quiet, quiet, quiet. It did ding in. There's a text from Auto Tempest. It says, Tyler, we haven't forgotten about you, and you do deserve a special prize for winning. Even <laughs> though you didn't get one the first few times around, we've got something extra special in mind. You are going to a recreation of all of the major Star Trek oh, sets. We know what? you love the show so much, so you'll be filming the intro to this series from the Bridge of the Enterprise. You're kidding me! <laughs> there, there is a Star Trek set in Georgia that we can go do this in. I've never been to it before. It's it? beautiful, it's incredible. Right. The Constitution class starship, all the jelly beans, the bridge, the lights, everything. <laughs> it it, it exists. Yeah, and we're gonna go, I guess. I wanna be Captain Kirk so bad. Can I, can I wear it? You can be the red shirt. I don't even know what you that be, means. You be smart. Is that good? The science officer. That, okay, I'm, yes. I'm a little scared now. Let's go, come on! <laughs> He's gonna have a heart attack. They picked a good prize for him. The best prize, apparently. Well, thank you all for watching. I'm Ed Bolian for Car Trek. Have a great night. Bye-bye. Tyler, you need to put that thing back in your pants. What are you feeling right now? Direction. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, if we could go with some behind cleavage for the opening of this series, that would be... We could. <laughs> Give me that, yeah. Give me the meat sweats. Mr. Freddy, prepare for a boarding party. I told you we shouldn't have gone to plaid. It's baseballs. Are we not doing space balls? No. No. What are we doing? We're star cops. <laughs> well, I, I don't know anymore. <laughs> this was a car show once. 60% of men will suffer some kind of erectile dysfunction, but we brought Tyler Hoover here to fix him. <laughs> <laughs> Should I have gotten something other than a Smedium? This size was available, which is hip, for hip. children. Yeah, they're smaller people back then. It's right. the alien mating that made them our size. Mm -hmm. That Tyler, is this a thing? That's, you know, one, live long and prosper. Yes. Okay. No, that's, that's, that's the shocker. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Can you do an oh my? Oh my. <laughs> Space is the final frontier, but we also know that Auto Tempest is the final frontier when it comes to shopping for a used car online because it combines all the major listing sites into one search. You've heard of Auto Tempest, but what you might not have heard of is their other website, Search Tempest, and that is for everything else. Exactly. Search Tempest allows you to search many of the same websites like eBay and Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist on a national level, and they can help you find collectibles and action figures and toy spaceships and costumes and all the other fun things that this is all about. So boldly go to Search Tempest, seek out new items and really anything you want, and boldly go buy them. Go check it out in the link in the video description below. But negotiate, don't pay the asking price. Now we have to leave. You're, you're okay. I'm, uh, you could buy you one of these chairs on I Search could. Tempest. I could. I want this. I want all this. It won't be this sticky though. We should leave them alone. Just for a little bit. It won't take long. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>